close as the Milwaukee Brewers get ready for opening day, the Miller Park maintenance crew is busy making sure the retractable roof is in proper working order. Mike DeSisti, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel with 24 games postponed in the still young Major League Baseball season, including one Monday night at the Domed Stadium in Toronto, the Milwaukee Brewers have enjoyed certainty at Miller Park. There have been zero postponed games due to weather since the retractable roof stadium opened in 2001. So far this spring, the Brewers have played eight games at home, some in weather that would have all be certainly led to a called-off game had there not been a roof. That hasn't been the case around the rest of the league this spring. The Kansas City Royals, for instance, have had four games postponed this spring, two at home, one in Detroit and one Monday night in Toronto. The Toronto game was called off after snow and ice fell from the nearby CN Tower onto the Rogers Center punching a hole in the right field roof. Other area buildings suffered broken windows and several cars were also damaged. Related, how weather forced the Blue Jays' Royals game in a dome to be postponed what would it take to get you to walk on top of the Rogers Center in the middle of an ice storm? Pick.twitter.com slash JVOX6OT, Tim and Sid, at Tim and Sid, April 16, 2018 The rash of postponed games led USA Today columnist Nancy Armour to suggest that baseball could benefit from a shorter season. Baseball isn't meant to be played in balaclavas and parkas, and the only time fans should need a blanket at the ballpark is when there's a movie night under the stars, she wrote, related, Major League Baseball would be better, and less vulnerable to weather, with 142 game season postponed games, especially early in the season, weren't uncommon in Milwaukee before Miller Park opened. For instance, the Brewers' records show that from 1997 to 2000 there were 10 home games postponed before April 16th. Only one game has been called off early at Miller Park, in 2001, due to a power outage that was not related to the roof, said Brewers spokesman Mike Vassallo. Related, Miller Park roof delivers comfort for fans, pays dividends at the Brewers' box office. Brewers have benefited greatly from the roof, according to a recent report by the stadium district which owns Miller Park. The stadium was paid for with a five-county 0.1% sales tax that is expected to expire in late 2019 or early 2020. In 2017, the roof was closed for 31 games, slightly lower than the average of 33.9 games, or 41.8%, of games since Miller Park opened. The most number of roof closures was 49 in 2006, while the fewest was 24 in 2009 and 2012. The roof has boosted Miller Park attendance by about 1 million fans per year compared with County Stadium, the stadium district report says.